the ball, fresh from the ball, my back to the wall with my hands on my back. All right, y'all, it's Urban Gear Man, and today we got Quavo talking about how hard it is to get a Richard Mill watch. Check this out. This is crazy. All right, guys, we're back, and let's hear what Quavo has to say about getting a Richard Mill watch. Oh, I go direct Richard, rolling. Rolling. Hey, we go direct with rolling. Now we're trying to get Richard. You got to like, like a real family. It's different. Yeah. When you walk in there, they don't even want to say you know what. They act like they don't got no watches. Mm. But you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta hit when you walk in there. Yeah. Okay, let me pause for a second because it's hard to hear him. Basically, he's saying when you go to Richard Milley, it's hard to get the watch. It's like you're a real family. Like, it's like a secret code in order for you to get this Richard Milley watch. So let's continue hearing what he has to say. You know, let's be clear. You you like get I walked in Richard to get in today. The guy goes to me. Oh, you must have connects. Yeah. When I knew I had to connect, and he said, he said, he said to me, in order to get on our list, you gotta buy three ladies' watches exactly. before you go. So you gotta buy. What if I ain't got a lady? Exactly. <laughs> so you gotta buy like three freaking ladies' watches just to get on the list to go buy that particular watch. It's not that serious, guys. It's really not that serious, but. I guess that's the appeal for a Richard Milley watch. If you have it, you could brag and say you got it. And they do say, like, the watch goes up in value, like, 20K every year, I think, or more. I Don't quote me on that, but I know it goes up. So, they're, of course, they're going to make it hard for you to get. But that's what Quavo has to say. Anyways, like and subscribe and check out my store. I got jewelry for sale. Link is in the description. I'm signing out early.